time do you make it now, Harry? I imagine it's about four. Yeah. I know these yard men. Casual they are. He's no doubt sipping his third cup of tea about now. You know him, Inspector? Well, if your identification is correct, every police force west of Athens knows him. As far as I know, we're the first ones ever to see what he looked like. Uh, we called the yard, sir, and as soon as we saw his name, he'd sewn inside the pocket of his jacket. It must be espionage. Well, how'd that happen? Accident, sir, pure and simple. A milk cart. The horse went wild and ran off with the cart. No driver. Charged around this corner here, Caught the bloke by surprise. Well, that's a commonplace end to a romantic career, if you like. Now, this is all he had in his person, sir. A hundred pounds, this French coin, and a note. Note, eh? For a glance at the coin and a cheery good day, the Queen of Lambeth will send you on your way. Arrive 8 a.m. Wednesday. Well, that's this morning. Any idea what it means, sir? No. You have enough time to find out. There may still be time. 221B Baker Street in Hurry. Of course, we've known for some time at the yard that there's been a leakage in the foreign office. What with Frederick Martinez in England, there must be some connection if only we knew what we had stumbled on. Holmes. Hmm? Holmes, are you awake? Hmm. Barely, little strange. It's a ghastly hour, you know. What on earth can it possibly mean? Oh, the Queen of Lambeth? Oh, yes, that pearly queen who's there so often with the organ grinder. It merely means to show the coin for identification and receive further instructions from her. But surely they can't possibly operate in the open like that? Yes, quite likely, Watson. And a clever way to operate. Right under the noses of Scotland Yard. <laughs> well, I must go and dress if I have to keep my appointment in Lambeth Square. What a ghastly hour. arrived in the square at the prescribed time, dropped the coin in the hat and flashed the French coin with the other hand. A woman told Holmes to proceed to Westminster Bridge and there to pick up a cane from a man. Near the center of the bridge, his instructions took meaning. To avoid suspicion, Holmes drove on, then walked back to the sea. The man was still there, and Holmes approached him cautiously. It was a moment of chance, and it worked. What good is a cane? There you are, Lestrade. And done before breakfast, too. On top of the highest tower of all, you can buy a souvenir with your coin. Tomorrow morning, tell the vendor you have no money smaller than the coin. On top of the highest tower of all. Do you suppose they're after something in the Tower of London? It's a little after eight now, Watson. What's the earliest train to Dover? Dover? Yes, of course, Watson. The note. We must be in France tomorrow morning. France? The highest tower of... You mean the steel tower of Monsieur Eiffel in Paris? Is that what it means, then? Certainly, Watson. Are you coming with us, Lestrade? Well, uh, well, I can't enter France without permission from the yard. I'll have to consult the superintendent. We'll meet you at the station in an hour. Now, hurry. If we miss this boat, we miss our appointment. Surety. The superintendent gave me strict instructions I wasn't to proceed an inch without getting a French detective to work with us. No, we're already late, Lestrade. We must proceed directly to the tower. Seems as if we've been traveling for days. Jerking trains, 
bouncing carriages. That horrible, horrible rolling boat. Well, you're not finished traveling yet, Lestrade, but at least your next move will be in a different direction. Look out of the window. It's necessary for all of us to go? Well, perhaps you're right, Lestrade. We'll go on up and you keep guard down here. Ah, but uh, I'm afraid I have no change. Give me the coin. What about my souvenir? We've been informed that Martinez was killed. Whoever you are, you're mixing in something that's none of your business. Give me the coin. Perhaps we should retire to somewhere more private. This will do. Give it to me. Don't think I won't use this. That coin is worth half a million pounds to us, and even more to the government that ordered it. Open it. See if it's the right one.
ça, monsieur? A, uh, uh, no parley, Francie. Ah, <laughs> you speak English. I wondered if this were yours. Uh, no, I haven't lost anything. My lucky day. Au revoir. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Straight. The straight. We've, we've got to search every inch of the ground this side of the tower. There's a chance no one's found it. What are we looking for, huh? The coin, the straight. I have no time to explain now, but I had to throw it down from the tower up there. Coin? You, you, Mademoiselle! The strain! The strain! Mademoiselle! Mademoiselle! Mister. Oh, what a young lady, a girl. She found the coin right here. Well, where'd she go? I've no idea. All I know is she's got the coin and we've no case without it. And now we return to the case of the Eiffel Tower. single clue. Well, keep looking. It's going to be a lot of trouble if I don't report to the surety soon. There's no time for that now, Lestrade. You're sure she was a blonde? Yes, of course she was a blonde. She had nice red cheeks. Very healthy looking. I remember her lips were red, too. Yes, uh, she dressed fancy. Yeah, very fancy. Why in heaven's name didn't you mention that before? What? Well, the clothes. A blonde, red cheeks, red lips, obviously who uses rouge. Probably an actress or an entertainer of some kind. Here, Watson, how do you stop this fellow? Stop him? Yes, in this language. Uh, 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 monsieur, pardonnez-moi. <laughs> uh. Hey, Holmes. What? That's her. Hmm. Well, Lestrade, it looks as though we're going to spend an evening in Montmartre. I say, Lestrade. Are you sure that's the girl? Quite sure. Posters. Stay close to them. You get the men together and tell them to be ready. There'll be no tricks this time. Chaque fleur dit tout bas, papillon et mémoire, apporté par la brise, se murmure. Me grise. Si je ferme les yeux, ce concert merveilleux fait revivre un instant mes beaux rêves d'antan dans un vapeur tourbillon. Je perds doucement la raison, ma robe s'envole au rythme lent. J'écoute en tremblant ton aveu, j'entends battre plus fort ton cœur, ta lèvre me frôle, je crois au bonheur.
nous valsons dans le bleu, nous chantons tous les deux la chanson sans parole. D'où ces temps un peu folle, la chanson des serments, des baisers enivrants, et je vis jusqu'au jour le beau rêve d'amour. Sure, that's the girl. Well, I'll send a message to her now at the table. Garçon. Monsieur. Bien, monsieur. Holmes, look. I don't see anything. Those two men over there near the entrance. Uh -huh. They're the two who held us up in the tower. How did they get here? Well, we were so intent on our search, we took no precautions against being followed. Well, anyway, they couldn't possibly know who's got the coin. Could they, Holmes? It's doubtful, Watson. They would have acted before if they had. I suggest that we leave here and contact the singer later, when we've given our friends the slip. In the trouble of learning your identity, I have a proposition. Yes? You tell me where the coin is and I'll pay you 50,000 pounds, in addition to your safety, of course. I have no idea at all where it is. My offer is generous. You see, I've taken steps to find it in any event. And if you leave without my permission, you'll be taken by my men outside. And there are others in here. Quite an organization. You really have no choice, you know. Perhaps not. Uh, we shall want to enjoy our evening. Since, of course, uh, it may be our last. Well, what are we going to do? We think, Watson. Well, got any bobbies or whatever you call them around here? Not enough. If only we'd gone to the surety, we might have got some of them along. First, we order another bottle of champagne. Champagne? Yes. Then we get in a very festive mood and invite a party of girls to the table. What? Well, well, don't look so shocked. That's the only way in which we can encourage the singer to come here and have a word with us. Now, Watson, have you seen those girls over there? <laughs> I want you to go and invite them to the table. Who, me? Yes, they'll like you, Watson. You blush. Yes, but I, I, I say Holmes can can girls, da dancers, French dancers. Well, well, well really, Holmes, I, I mean, it's our only chance, Watson, for England. Well, for England. I 
just don't know what I'm going to write in my report. I don't dare tell the superintendent the real details of this case. Say, say, Paula. Won't you join us, Mademoiselle? Seems a little crowded already. Haven't I seen you before somewhere? Uh, yes, uh, I, I was the fellow. Um, it was me. You, you. Please sit down. Uh, Mr. Millimar, I must warn you that your life is in very grave danger. You're original, anyway. Whatever I say, I want you to smile and pretend that we're just having a perfectly informal chat. You see, we're being watched. No, no, don't look around now. Is this some sort of a joke? I'm afraid it isn't. I believe that you found a coin near the Eiffel Tower this afternoon. That's where I saw him. Well, I dropped that coin, and it is of the utmost importance that I get it back. And I'm quite prepared to pay you for it. Why? Well, I can't explain now, but uh, that is Inspector Lestrade from Scotland Yard. And that coin is very important to him in the solving of a case. Scotland Yard? Uh, yes, it's the same thing as a surety. I'm not too sure what you're talking about, but if it's the coin you want so badly, I'll give it to you. Here. Why, that's it. Yeah, give it to me. Be careful, Lestrade. Don't forget they're watching. Well, we've got the coin. They've got us. Tell me, mademoiselle, how long would it take for the police to get here from headquarters? The few times they came here, they seemed to come very quickly. Good. Well, now we send for them. How? Well, you heard what he said. There are men all over the street. But not many in here. We'll start a riot. A what? Riot. I see, and the riot brings the police. Yes, if we can keep it up long enough. Excuse me, mademoiselle. All my life I wanted to do something like this, Holmes. But of course, at home, it was impossible. and we're going to get out of this? Very simply, Lestrade. You must contact the Sûreté and explain the whole situation. After all, you were going to do it in the first place, weren't you? I don't know how I'm going to explain all this in my report to Scotland Yard. Maybe I can join the Foreign Legion and never go back. That would do it, wouldn't it? Hurry! Hold! Hurry! Hurry! Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. 